when was actually the first moment, more, more quiet moment, when you thought, hey, wait a minute, I'm world champion again? Well, I think it's probably the same like last year. It's going to take a couple of days till uh, it kind of sinks in and you just need time to yeah, to work on that and to realize what you achieved. And I think it's just going to take a couple of days now when I'm going to go home and it's going to be quiet and I'll be around my family. And I think that's the, probably the most important things and that's when I'm going to realize what happened. Yeah. Obviously, you wanted to become world champion again, but Bratislava, uh, athletes like Jana Dukatova, Elena Kalishka, um, their home course, you definitely hoped for it, but did you expect it? I definitely didn't expect it, and uh, I knew the odds were against me because of, well, because of the thing that you usually don't defend your title. It doesn't really happen. and. Um, well, the thing is, I know this course pretty well because I live about an hour of drive away from here, so I train here on almost a daily basis. And, um, well, of course, I knew Jana and Elena and a lot of other girls, they're really strong here, but you never, I think you never expect to win a race. You hope it and you just try your best and then see what happens in the end. What strikes me is that I've seen a steady development of you as a canoe slalom athlete. Do you think that has to do with your your training approach uh, can you tell me some, maybe something about that well I think it's uh, probably got to do something with the way I go into races because uh, I try to enjoy it and I try to have fun and I try to uh, do things that I do every day in training and I don't try to do something special like probably a couple of years ago I tried to do something special and be really good in races and now I yeah, I try to do what I do every day and what I'm best in and it's just, I think that makes it easier. You're already a fantastic performing athlete. What do you think for you are still the areas where you could further develop? Well, as I said, I think I have to learn how to race in finals and maybe go safer lines a little bit and don't risk too much when it's not necessary. And I think um, in the race yesterday I made a good decision to spin combinations that I probably wouldn't spin in training just because I knew I didn't have to do a perfect run and yeah, as we, as we saw it, it was enough to do a good run and I think there was, well, except for the bottom drop, there was nothing special in that run and it was still enough to win the race. Can you explain me how the Olympic qualification process looks like for you in Austria. What have you already, let's say, earned here in Bratislava and what does still need to happen uh, back home in Austria? Um, what happened is that the World Championships they were the first race for our selections, so I've got a win down and we have two more races next year to come, which are the Europeans and the first World Cup in Cardiff. And um, well, yeah, you need to win two out of three races and I've got one win down, so, well, I hope it's going to be good in the end for me. What would you advise young female athletes? I'd advise them to stick to their own plan and to their roots and do what feels good for them and not let someone else put them into a corner and teach them, I'd say, something that... I think as a girl it's always, it's always a problem that people try to teach you to pedal safe lines and not to try too much and not to try to pedal like boys and I had that in the, in the past and I think what was a good thing for me was that I always trained with boys and I always tried to beat them in training so I kind of started pedaling more like the boys do and I think that's important for girls to just see that you actually can do something else than other girls do or you can maybe be faster or cut the lines tighter than most the girls do and if if it feels right for them, I, I'd advise them to just do it and just try it. Yeah. Hey, and, and trying to pedal like the boys, was that something that you as an individual wanted or was did you also have a coach that stimulated you to pedal like the guys? Mm, it, was probably, it was probably both. It's just in my nature to just try my best and I tried to be as fast as I could and the boys are obviously the fastest, so I tried to be... Uh, well, try to be like them as good as I can 
And um, it was definitely also my coach from years ago. And Manuel Köhler, he, he, um, yeah, he agreed with my idea and he, he helped me to, yeah, to stick to my roots and try that. After your World Championship title, could you share with us another moment or situation which you really enjoyed here while being here in Bratislava in the last few days? Well, I think um, I probably enjoyed the moment when our boys had their team race today a lot because they did better than we expected them to do and they had an awesome result. They finished fourth and I enjoyed that the whole team was working together and then we all went down and cheered for them and that we're all happy for them. And I think that's probably, yeah, the moment I enjoyed most. Yeah. Yeah. Are we going to see you in Australia this year? Yeah, for sure. I'll be back there, yeah. Uh, well, it will be fantastic to have you in Australia and I'm looking forward. Thank you very much. Thanks.